You know, when I was healed 11 years ago, stage four cancer, all through my lymph nodes. The doctors looked at me, two professional doctors, the best in Tampa Bay. And they said, if you leave here without treatment, you will swell up three times your body size in the next couple of weeks. That's how bad you are if you, if you walk out of here. I mean, they planted some real fearful seeds in me. This is 11, this is 2004. This is what, 2016, 12 years ago. Thank you, Lord, one extra year there. I walked out, and I mean, I was visibly shaking. It's okay for your faith to get shaken. It's good for you. It makes you realize how much you need them. Yes. You know? But I went home. A couple of days, I just was like out of touch. I couldn't do anything. And then I heard, I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? You know what he said? Take communion. Take it for seven nights. Drink the juice. Eat the bread. Drink a lot of juice. What's a little cup going to do? Drink a whole bottle. Say amen. Yeah. Eat a whole loaf of bread if you have to. The word drink in Greek means to guzzle. Well, how do you guzzle a, a little tiny cup? And the word eat means to ravenish. I got a hold of that bread, and I, I'm just, I'm giving you an illustration. I didn't pray for myself. I, I, I went after this. You have to attach your faith to something in the scriptures. On the eighth day, I called the hospital. I said, doctor, doctor, what's ailing me? Come on, somebody. I said, I want a checkup. He said, Billy, you, you got to get in here and get treatment. You know what? I said, I want you to do a whole battery of tests. I didn't tell them why initially. So I went in and they did a whole battery. They did blood. They did CAT scans. They did, he said, I don't know why we're doing this. He said, you got good insurance. I don't know what this is all about. I said, doctor, I've been eating the bread and drinking the juice. He said, I don't want to know what that is. It's hard to tell what that is. I said, you haven't heard of the living bread? His body? His blood? He went, oh. <laughs> Called me back in the next day. Come out with his stethoscope over his neck. He said, I don't know what the blink you did. There's not a trace of anything in your body. Oh, yeah.